Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy and this is Crafting Cake with Billy. If you are new here to my channel, I would like to welcome you here today. So happy you're here. And to all of my returning crafty friends, welcome back. So today I thought I would share with you how to make a uh, corner tuck. And these corner tucks are very, very versatile. You can use them for belly bands and for several different things in your junk journals as well as um, just an embellishment or um, bookmarks, anything like that. But before I jump into that, I do want to um, give a shout out to a few people who have sent me some cards in the mail. I got this from Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. Thank you so much, Jovi. She sent this cute card that she made into a pocket. It says Seasons Greetings. And then on the back, there's this cute little snowman with a little birdie on his on its nose. And then inside, she sent me these beautiful Christmas journaling cards. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you, Jovi. I will definitely use these. I'm going to put these in my Christmas stash. So I got that from Jovi. And then I also got this cute little and well it's not an entry but it's um uh, some merry mail from colleen and she sent this cute little thing it says joy to the world and then a savior is born and then it says billy hope and pray you had a wonderful birthday and wishing you every joy of this holiday season crafty hugs colleen and then it says, P.S. Hope you enjoy this simple handmade ornament I created for you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. How cute, right? And she sent this, a little altered paper clip. I love this paper. And then on the inside, she made, I think I can pull it off the top. Oh, how cute. She sent me this cute little ornament. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. So very cute. I appreciate it. And it has a little snow globe on the back. I love that. Thank you. So from Colleen and from Creating with Jovi. And then I also got a card from Melissa. And I want to show you Melissa's card. Let's see. So this is Melissa's card. How cute. She made this cute little gingerbread, the baking gingerbread. And it says, oh, Christmas treats. And she knows how much I love gingerbreads and how much I love baking. But look how cute this card is. She layered it with a white background. And then it's got a torn edge with red and then blue paper with polka dots, white polka dots. And the little gingerbread has on that cute little apron with a little mini gingerbread in its pocket holding a gingerbread. Ugh, all this gingerbread, I love it. And it has this cute little spatula with some red icing on it. So very cute. Ugh. So talented. It says, wishing you a wonderful Christmas. Blessings to you and yours this holiday season. Your friend, Melissa. Thank you so much. And that is her information. Uh, Mo Creations. So you can check her out as well. And then I got one more. And then we're going to hop into this tutorial. Um, I got this beautiful Christmas card. And it has um, this Christmas scene with Believe in Santa Claus. And this is from Muriel over at Miss Cooper Scoop. Um, it says, be joyful. Thank you for the Christmas card and thinking of us. He is wishing you and your family a safe and healthy new year in 2023. Hugs, Muriel. Thank you so much, Muriel. And then she put the little um, gingerbread on the back as well. So... I will link all of their information below. So now, uh, thank you, thank you to everyone. Now we're gonna hop into this tutorial. Now, um, 
These are the cute little tags that I was telling you about. They're little corner tucks. You can use them as um, belly bands if you put them together. They're just really simple and really, really cute. So let me show you how they are used. So here's a piece of paper. You can use them as a tuck in your junk journal. And if you need for them to hold tags or something like that, notes, let me get another color so you can see. You can just stick your note or tag or whatever and let it hang there, whatever you want it to hold, it will hold. Um, let's see, I'll put one at the bottom. They can go at the bottom of a page like this and pretty much the same concept. You can just stick something in there. And this is how it would be on your actual page, your junk journal page. And I just thought these were super cute. This is not my idea. However, um, the ones that I have seen were quite a bit different. Of course, mine are kind of shabby chic romantic. So I'll just show you how I make mine. Um, first, I will give you examples of the ones that I did make so that if you're interested in making something similar, you can do that. Um, the ones that I started off making were just the simple triangles and I don't know if, we'll see if I can find isn't that cute? I'm gonna see if I can find the one I just made. <clears throat> but I thought it would be cute to add, you know, make it a whole um, square. These are some of the simpler ones. But you guys know I love to embellish, so that is precisely what I did. Okay, and then I made these. I love the frill and I love the shabbiness. I love the how the colors play together and that's just me, you guys know that. So we are gonna hop into making these. Now I cut my squares simply three by three. There's no um, real, you know, this is not a hard craft, so Anybody can pretty much make these. Oh, I did want to show you also, um, I was saying that you could use them as belly bands. And this is pretty much how you could actually glue them closer together so that they fit on a page. And then you can add little notes or whatever inside, little tags inside like that. Or you could glue them this way and you could have little tags this way. So, I mean, the, the um, options are endless. You can just do whatever you like to do. You can also put them in the middle of a page and use them as a pocket, and then you have a spot there, so. All right, so let's jump into how I make these. Again, these are three by three, and I will show you exactly how to do this. I have marked three inches here. So there's my three inch mark right there. If you can see that. My lighting is not always the best, but um, hopefully you can see. And of course, you never find a pencil when you need one. <laughs> but I am going to, I've already marked my three. And I am just going to, you can use a paper cutter. I'm just gonna use my scissors because I have my scissors here with me. So, there's three inches across, and then we're gonna measure three inches down. So I'm gonna mark at three, six, nine. 
So he went at three, went at six, went at nine, and this is a 12 by 12, so the last three inches is pretty much figured for you there. I am going to cut along my three inch line. And I did make this line on the back of my craft paper, just so that you wouldn't see it on the front. I am going to cut I'm not, I don't always cut perfectly straight. We're gonna eyeball it just for this, but you guys can actually draw your lines if you don't really cut straight lines. I really don't, but I just want you to get the idea of what I did. Okay, so you're just three by three, simple, right? All right, so I'm gonna move this out of my way and we are gonna make a cute little tuck. So this is one that I've already cut and I've already inked around. So you cut as many as you want, whatever papers you wanna use. You can use different papers, you can use the same papers, you can use different colors, whatever you wanna do. This is your project, so you do what works for you. And I did ink around this. So I will ink this pink as well. You guys know my inker has seen better days, right? Now I have some, the little ink pads somewhere and I don't really know where I put them. And at the same time, I don't wanna buy anymore because I do know I have some, so. We're just gonna be a little bit raggedy <laughs> until I can find my ink pads. I just don't wanna go buy more when I know I have some. I just don't know exactly where. Am I the only person who puts things up and then forgets where? <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my square horizontally so that it looks like this. And then I'll add a little bit more ink. You don't have to ink them. I love, personally, I love to ink and I love that look, but you don't have to. All right, now, so I have some triangles and I have some squares, three inches. Simple, right? So all you're gonna do is take some glue and I don't go all the way to the edge, you can, if you wanna let some of that, um, some of that vintage ink show, you can do that. You can go all the way to the edge with it, or you can leave a little bit of the edge visible. I'm going to leave a little bit visible only because I have already inked and I like that look. It's as simple as that, right? So now I also like the look of um, the rounded edges. So I have this We Are Memory Keepers edge punch and I like to round my edges just like this, gives it a nice look. We are gonna go ahead and glue another one. I'm trying to see if I want the pink or if I want the gray. I'll switch it up and do some gray. You guys know I'm just too into pink. In any of my projects that you see, and maybe some of you don't like pink, you don't have to use pink. You can choose whatever floats your boat. Pink floats mine, so that's normally what I use. But, you know, you don't have to go with pink. Okay, so I'm just gonna clip the edge if there's a little bit of overhang. 
that is okay. All right, so we have this one and this one. And I have an extra one, so we can do a third one. And this one I'm just gonna make, use the same papers, how about that? Let's do that. So I'm just gonna take a moment to glue. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm happy to see some sunshine today. It's cold outside, but at least we got some sunshine. I'm happy about that. Okay, for this one, I don't want overhang. So I'll just clip that end and then do just like that. I told you guys this was a very simple, simple, simple project, right? You believe me? Okay. So it's really good to make a ton of these and keep them in your stash so that when you make junk journals or if you want to send out some happy mail and you have little ephemera, that's a cute way to send it, right? All right, let's embellish. So I have some music paper and then I have some paper just with some words. I always love the look of um, the words, especially as a base. So I think I got this page from a vintage um, floral book or something like that. And I'm just gonna take a few pieces and I'm gonna ink them Yeah, I think I should at least cut some of these little pieces off. That looks awful, doesn't it? Sorry. I'm sorry if you're a visual person. But honestly, it still works. So if it works, use it. All right, so I'm just going to put a bunch of glue on the back. And just going to stick the words here. It doesn't really matter where you stick them because we're just embellishing. So let's stick some more on this one. That'll be fun. Put some glue here. Hold on, I'll get it. And then I'll put some words here. That is Kindle. Okay. And then I was thinking, we'll stick words here. But I wanna use some music, so we'll have to figure out where I can put some music. I love the music notes. Maybe we can stick the music notes in the blank space because we'll see that too. I'm just gonna tear it. I know some of you like to use scissors, but I like the torn look, so I'll just tear. So what kind of projects are you guys working on now? I know it's almost Valentine's Day. So Valentine's projects are all over YouTube right now. Um, guys, if you have not checked out my romantic junk journal, I will link it below. I would love for you to see it. I have some of these little tucks in my junk journal and um, that way you guys have examples of just how that looks all right so I'm gonna put some of the music paper in there you can also 
kind of tuck it behind like that and decorate the back if you want because you'll you'll be able to see both sides when it's in the journal i like that um i'm gonna put some more music paper and we're gonna ink it So you guys know, I told you that I love the Golden Girls. <laughs> and um, so I have a lot of Golden Girls um, themed items. So normally if I'm drinking like sweet tea or something, I have, I drink it in my Golden Girls cups. It feels, it makes it so much, tastes so much better for some reason. I like to watch the Golden Girls, but anyway, I got a, my cousin sent me a Golden Girls throw blanket for Christmas, and I love it. It's so cute. I don't know why I love that show so much, but I do. Okay. I'm just gonna add some more ink here. Okay, so we have that. And then, I don't wanna add music to this because I have those beautiful flowers there. But, I do want to add a few simple things. Now, if this is gonna be in a journal, I would suggest that you use like items that are flat. Like if you decide to use flowers, you should probably make them more of a flat paper flower instead of a raised flower. It'd be easier to open and close, well, close your junk journal. So I would recommend to use the flat pieces, flat embellishments. Um, I don't know why I just got out orange, but we're just playing around now, so we're gonna see what looks nice. I got this uh, paper here full of embellishments and I fussy cut some of them out for my projects. Aren't those beautiful? And I believe that is Prima paper. So I do love those. Um, let's see if we can find something quick to, I need something small. Let's do this one. Something small and something not too fussy to fussy cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm gonna see how fast I can do this. This is not gonna be perfect fussy cutting because I am doing this uh, uh, fairly quickly. Oh goodness. And um, I don't, uh, these scissors are quite large. So, you guys know how that works. I think this is my first fussy cut on film. I normally do this um, at night. I like to watch TV and fussy cut. When I have a moment to watch the news or something like that, that's normally when I fussy cut. So this is a very, this is not even a very good job of fussy cutting, but I'm just trying to give you the idea. So I cut out this little flower and now I'm just gonna ink it. And hopefully I've been in frame the entire time so that you can see what I have done. Added a little bit of ink to that. And then I'm trying to see which, which one speaks to me. Hmm. I think that speaks to me. It has to speak to you, right? in order for it to work. So 
I'm gonna get my glue and add some glue to one half of my flower. Always lay your glue on its side, that way you don't have to sit and wait for it to rise to the top. Okay. I don't know, that makes me happy. I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay. Now, let's see. We can add other things to this, or we can leave it just like that. Um, I do like to add, what do you call them? Um, little pieces of lace or things like that um, to my pieces just to add a little bit of character. So I might just do that for some of them. Lace makes everything better. And since I have thick lace, I'm gonna try and cut this in half. Just to see what we like. Okay, I do like this. So, I do have my glue gun ready too, so I can use that. And this one's getting all gunky like my last one. I like them gunky. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got some lace there. You can let it hang if you like, you can cut it. I'm gonna cut mine. And this absolutely needs a focal point. And I'm not sure what that focal point is right now. How about a couple of flowers? It's simple and it's still flat, so let's do that. I'm a little bit all over the place today, guys. Sorry. So I'll stick those two just like that. And look at that cute, cute, cute little tuck. Isn't that cute? Okay. Maybe for this one, we'll add some pearls. Pearls are good. See, that's cute. About a string of pearls. All right, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some hot glue, simply because it sticks better and it dries faster. So we're gonna stick our string of pearls right across there. If you have the finger guards, I would recommend you use those. I think my my hands are just used to hot glue now, so it doesn't bother me that bad. So that's kind of cute, right? Okay, let's do one more. Um since it's almost Valentine's Day. Let's do hearts. Mm-hmm. All right. I have a string of hearts. I have a string of hearts. And I'm going to use them. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of measure right across there. We'll cut at the end. And then I'm going to add my hearts with the hot glue gun. Guys, I hope you are enjoying my videos. I am going to be 
um, doing more videos of some of the things you saw in my last junk journal. Um, the other items that I do have videos f um, for are linked below that journal and the items that I did not have videos for. I am working on those now. So that way, if you decide you want to make one, you have all the tools. I wanted to provide all the tools so that you can do the same thing. You can craft along with me. And I'd love for you to go back and check all of those videos out. Um, I'm going to sit these out so you can see them. And this is probably my favorite one. It's simple, yet it's beautiful. It's elegant. I'm going to sit all of these out so that you can see them. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Take a moment to subscribe. I would appreciate that so very much. Um, and I hope that you watch to the end. I hope you watch all my videos to the end. I appreciate that as well. So, guys, I appreciate you so much and thank you so much for watching. Uh, tell a friend about my channel and have them, them subscribe as well. And until next time, I hope you have a super fabulous day and um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.